At least 15 years in prison for a local man convicted of attempted murder and a judge gives a pointed reprimand in court. Good evening. Thanks for watching tonight. I'm Todd Blackington. Three out of the four now co-defendants in the kidnapping and attempted murder case that started in Chubbuck and ended with a near lifeless victim being thrown from a bridge into the Snake River have been sentenced. This morning, Cody Childers learned his fate. According to witnesses, Childers and co-defendant Stephanie Christensen were the ones who committed the most heinous acts with a hammer during the attack. Our Phil Campbell was at the sentencing this morning and has more from the Bannock County Courthouse. Even though this was the third sentencing for this case, it was still full of first for nearly everyone involved. With heavy reluctance, Judge Stephen S. Dunn followed the recommendation of the plea agreement and sentenced Cody Childers to 25 years for his role in the brutal beating and kidnapping that started in the Chubbuck apartment. Childers has shown little, if any, remorse for his actions, and he continues to deny using a hammer on the victim, even though his co-defendants and the victim have all said that he not only beat the victim with a hammer in the apartment, but he continued to beat her with a hammer on the bridge in Fort Hall. Judge Stephen S. Dunn said he has never read a more horrific pre-sentence investigation report than the one provided to him for Childers. In the PSI, there were quotes from Childers in which he said, I do not feel sorry for her, and I knew from the beginning that this was going to happen. Judge Dunn said his actions not only reflect a serious personality disorder, but also reflects traits of sociopathic tendencies. The defense acknowledged that Childers is an immature person, but said that he was not in the room during the initial attack, which they say was planned by Christensen. They claimed that a pack mentality took over during the altercation, and that this would not have happened if they would have settled their differences with the victim individually. Judge Dunn gave Childers one last chance to address the court during the sentencing, but Childers denied the opportunity. Also during the sentencing, the judge asked the state if Medicaid was seeking reimbursement from Childers for the hospitalization of the victim. He was surprised to find out that Medicaid was not. The defense, state, and judge all anticipate Childers having a difficult time in prison because of his stature, but the judge thinks it could be even worse because of his behavior. Childers has already had a difficult time behind bars at the Bannock County Jail. Now the judge scorned Childers for smiling and nearly laughing during his sentencing and said that if his attitude doesn't change, the parole board would likely keep him in prison for the bulk of his sentence. Reporting from the Bannock County Courthouse, Phil Campbell, KPVI News 6. The fourth and final sentencing in this case is scheduled for January 17th. That's when Carissa Salaz will find out how much time she'll be serving for attempted murder and kidnapping. Childers will be eligible for parole after serving 10 years.